Hello, everybody. My name is Doran Parker. And my name is Aviva Pachenik. And we are presenting to you a line of dog toys. A reason for pity proof. Um, the name of our uh, product is Pity Proof, and the reason that we named it this is because pit bulls have some of the strongest jaws of uh, all the breeds of dogs, and we thought that uh, Pity Proof would be a suitable name for a durable dog toy. So this is a description of our product. We are presenting to you a line of indestructible dog-friendly chew and tug-of-war toys that offers sizes appropriate ranging in width for small, medium, and large dogs, a unique range of colors and designs customer, customized for you and by you, the customer, as well as a wide variety of specialized toys for the holidays and an assortment of university colors. The material of the toys is also created from all natural 100% digestible hemp fleece to ensure that your dog does not develop any sort of health issues after playing with our product. One of the more useful qualities of the toys is the fact that it is machine washable and so durable that it has never been chewed uh, through by a single dog that we have given it to. Furthermore, we will make sure that it is produced in a labor-friendly environment. Here we go. Um, so the purpose of our product is, it started off that we couldn't find durable dog toys for our dogs to play with. And then we realized that this may be something that's kind of lacking in the dog toy industry. So we decided to sell our toys for financial gain, but we also hope to make a difference for uh, animals because I'm really passionate about animals and we want to be able to contribute um, a certain percentage of all sales to pet rescues. Um, I believe this is you. Okay, sorry. Uh um, when calculating our market potential, we interviewed multiple customers and staff employees at pet stores within greater Atlanta area, such as PetSmart and Petco. And we also decided to interview joggers and bystanders at local parks to, to make sure that we were asking a well-rounded sample population that our results would not also be biased. Uh, furthermore, we have previous experience selling our product at local farmers markets and online through Etsy. Um, we also, after uh, interviewing some people, did some research to see who some of our biggest competitors would be. And our biggest competitor would be Kong. Um, in fact, they're one of the only name brand toys, uh, dog toys that are out there that like our people go and they like want Kong, they want the name brand uh, Kong toy. And then our uh, next greatest competitor would be Outward Hound and Go Nuts. Um, and we hope to be able to make it more popular for people to look for name brand uh, dog toys and be able to see our name brand and know that it comes along with durability and safety and fun for your pet. That's it. Um, we noticed when doing research that pet parents care most about entertainment that's safe for their pups. Um, the next most important thing to people who had um, who were looking for dog toys was that it was durable. They expressed frustration at the fact that it was hard to find durable dog toys. Um, they also appreciated things such as customization and the fact that it was machine washable. Um, and one of the cool features about our toy is the fact that it's machine washable. Um, and since there's little grooves in it, you can spread something like peanut butter on it or something else smelly that your dog likes the taste of, and then they can entertain themselves with the toy and they won't chew through it. And then you can throw it in the wash later and it won't cause any damage to the toy. Okay, in terms of our pricing strategy, um, we were looking to provide a premium high quality toy that comes at a retail value of $25 to $30. Um, we also determined that the cost of the production and distribution is around $7 per toy. So that's why we upped the ante up to $25 to $30 to take in that cost. Furthermore, uh, with the manufacturing of the toy, um, up until now, we have been the ones to make the toys by hand. However, we are looking to obtain a contact with a US-based labor group and our current production time is approximately 15 to 20 minutes. And we hope that this time will decrease as efficiency improves in making the toys. Um, so the, uh, this is an approximate example of an initial budget for the first 12 months that we hypothesized. We will sell, we, uh, we, want to sell 50 toys at an average of $20 retail value. This is just an example. So we are uh, set to have a gross margin of $600 based, of that, based off of that statistic, 
When it comes to our further expenses, we have taken into account the cost of marketing, utilities, supplies, shipping, and registration fees, which would take the bulk of our, uh, of our operating expenses. And this would make our operating income of about $360. And this is all provided that we sell four to five toys uh, per, per month. Um, when it comes to distribution, um, we were hoping to be able to ha uh, sell our toys online, either through a company website or some other online distributor. Um, when selling our toys online, we were able to guarantee people and be able to accomplish a delivery within seven days that the order is made. Um, selling our toys online would allow us to uh, give our customers customization of the toys, whether they want a toy to come in their university colors or specialized for a holiday. Um, and then uh, we were also thinking that we could sell it in wholesale or in bulk um, to retail stores. However, um, for retail stores to be able to double the price of the product, we may have to lower our prices a little bit if they um, buy it in wholesale, but uh, we may have to mark up the retail value um, when selling to retail stores such as Petco or PetSmart um, if we were to go this route. So we hope to primarily sell our toys online. Um, and then as far as advertisement goes, uh, we want to be able to post flyers and we will put them up in uh, different local areas such as coffee shops, parks, and hopefully veterinarian clinics and maybe some other uh, pet stores. Um, we also want to be able to take advantage of social media. Sorry, I don't know why I keep skipping guys, um, but we want to be able to take advantage of social media. So we want to have paid um, marketing directed towards dog owners on Instagram. And then we also hope to be able to get different doggy celebrities to endorse our product. For example, there's this one Pitbull celebrity on Instagram whose name is Hulk. Um, we were hoping that he could endorse our product. And then we also want to have um, a veterinarian endorse our product so that people can have trust in our product. Um, so we want to thank everyone for listening uh, to our to our presentation. Um, and we want to give a special thanks to Professor Wasser for helping us out in literally all the facets of our uh, pro product description, customer discovery and presentation. He actually went out with us to do some customer discovery. And uh, it's one of the examples of a professor actually being involved with uh, their students. And I haven't seen any other professor do that at Oglethorpe, so I really appreciate that. And also thank you to the judges for listening to our presentation. I hope you enjoyed it. And this is my dog, Polka, and she says thank you as well. So thank you. Guys, thank you. Uh, please, uh, it, I am not a PhD, uh, but thank you very much for the shout out but I don't want anybody, I don't want to impersonate any credentials I don't have, but you guys were a pleasure to work with and y'all made it a lot of fun. That's Thank you, Thank you so much. Okay, uh, judges, it's your chance to ask any questions or observations you might have. And Richard, welcome. Um, so you're on and you missed my very uh, glowing and gracious uh, summary of your background. Thank you very much. Uh, quick question, you know, you guys were talking about selling online. Um, there's a lot of DTC products out there, direct to consumer products. Have you guys thought about how and where you would um, first launch that type of maybe viral campaign or could you answer what your approach would be there? Um, so do you mean how we would advertise it or where we would sell our product? Where you would sell any of the tools you would use? Um, so previously, we uh, have sold our product on Etsy and that worked well, but we also want to look into other online platforms, maybe such as Amazon or maybe creating our own website. Um, it's all kind of just what ends up being the most economical because I know having your own website costs money and then using Etsy obviously costs money as well. But there's also ways to make it cheaper through Etsy. So if you create like one listing and then people just... Um, uh, comment like what their colors would be it ends up being less money because you pay per listing um, and then I guess does that answer your question it does to a certain extent yeah um, I think Rhonda had a question coming up oh is it in the chat oh no okay I have a question um Guys, uh, I, I'm not, maybe I missed this in the financials. Um, you're selling it at retail for $20? So that was the, um, in the fine, 
the the report that we had that was just an average of twenty dollars but we would be selling it either from 15 to 35 dollars based off of the uh the, how big it is and how much material is used okay understood um I, I may have missed, I didn't see any kind of uh, costs for your channel. You're going through, if you're going through Etsy or you end up going through Amazon, is there not a fee per unit? Um, there is, it's I believe like 25 cents. I thought it was on there. I get, um, here let's share it. I don't know when this details. Let me see, we can go back to that side. Um, Oh, it's in a small print, maybe. Okay. Um, I was looking at the per unit stuff. I guess we... it's under your bank che bank charges and fees is where we put it. Yeah, that's probably mm -hmm. yeah. That's that's where we would honestly have it. Oh, it's um, not expensive right. though. It's just I think it's about twenty five cents per listing, and if we have. Um, like for example, there's five different styles. Like we have a bone, we have a heart, we have a right, circle, right. It's like long one. And then we just okay. have people comment the colors that they want. So it wouldn't be a lot per month. But then again, if we have our own website uh, and we could right. sell off of that, it, it might be even uh, cheaper for us. Because okay. the price wouldn't be taken out of it. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Hey guys, this is uh, Dennis Kelly. Um, congratulations on a really great promotion. Very well thought through. You covered all the bases. Um, very impressed. Um, Thank you so thank much. You. One, so if you were, if, if you want to grow this business, uh, where, what's your next investment? Well, what could you use investment funds for at this point? Um, well, one of the things is that until now, we've never at one point had like a lot of money to put down into um, like the fabric that we need to create our toys, because it's a lot cheaper if we could buy it in, in bulk. bulk. Um, and right now we've kind of just been going to Joanne Fabrics and buying fabric. Um, so because we just don't have more than like $50 to put down at a time for our fabric. So buying in bulk is one thing. Um, and then Another thing would be advertisement because advertisement on Instagram can be kind of expensive and we really want to be able to get it out there that our product is there and be able to um, pay for um, maybe some endorsements by we were saying like some puppy celebrities and then also pay for targeted advertising on Instagram and possibly YouTube or some other forms of social media. Great, terrific, thank you. Thank you. Thanks for um, talking a bit about the fabric. I'm, that leads me into my questions. I'm curious to know what would use your process to identify the fabric for this and also who certifies the safety of the fabric for the animals to consume. And on top of that, I'm interested as you're able to grow your business, how do you ensure the supply chain? How do you, how, where would you um, identify the fabric to ensure that you have enough to produce the toys that you have demand for? Um, well, there's several different places that sell fabric in bulk and we've looked up hemp fabric and we want to make sure we want to run it by um, a veterinarian and have them be part of the process and have them endorse the product and make sure that it's safe and um, but we, uh, we went online and we found several different places that sell hemp fabric. Um, and as we and mentioned before safety is our main priority and that was one of the bigger um, questions in the uh, that people had when we were doing our customer discovery. They wanted, um, uh, true, I guess it didn't include, but they wanted uh, something that was safe and digestible. And we figured out that hemp actually is very uh, safe and digestible for dogs. So we're gonna look at, for a veterinarian to approve it. And then we could certify our that our product is vet approved. And I guess that would make it more appealing for co the customer since they don't have to worry about their dog you know, uh, ingesting chemicals. Also our, our product doesn't really have any kind of small pieces that could fall out. and. It, Again, we mentioned that it was indestructible. So um, it, it just the what, the thing that we'd probably be most worried about is just tiny little fabric pieces, which is not really uh, gonna do anything to the dog if it's hemp, um, because and we don't have any uh, small pieces that fall off of our toys. And you had a second question. I'm sorry, what was your second question again? I, I was just curious about the supply chain. So you're purchasing things from Joanne Fabrics, but as you grow your business, are they always gonna have the material in stock in the colors that you need um, and then going forward? 
So Joanne Fabrics does have a lot of fabric, um, but previously I had driven to a store, I'm upset I'm forgetting the name now, but there's a store a little bit a ways out where they sell like fabric in bulk. And I actually went there with a friend at the time who wasn't Doran and we like picked out fabrics and we got it in bulk. It was like one time a long time ago that we did that and we made a bunch of toys. Um, but there are stores that you can even walk in and buy it in bulk. Um, that are available that have a bunch of colors like it's it's not hard to find fleece also walmart sells um fleece although that's not hemp fleece ironically but um but there's a lot of stores that sell it where it's it's pretty easy to access thank you uh thank you very much for the presentation you did a great job uh, thank you. but i have a question for you concerning the design and they uh who designs these uh, products for you? Who designs? So we actually we actually come up with our own designs, and um, as you can see here, these are toys that we've actually made in the past. Um, these are all original designs uh, that we've we we've come up with. Me and my friend, because I actually originally started this with a friend in high school, we used to have sleepovers where we just like play with the toys and like even this twisty one, um, let me see, it's right here. Like it happened because we were just at a sleepover and we were like weaving and we just started twisting it and we're like, oh, it stays like that. And we kind of just played around with it and had fun with it. And that's kind of how we came up with the design. And I know um, in these pictures, they look soft and fluffy, but because they're so tight, they're actually really firm and hard. Like we'd go, we went to the pet store when we were doing customer discovery, like people would feel it and be like, oh, this is really firm. This is, seems really sturdy. They obviously didn't test it with their dog, but they felt it and it is really in, in all of these pictures that we posted on our uh, slideshow are actually dogs that we know of and that we've presented our product to so they these are these aren't just off some website these are actually taken by us yeah in fact the pit bull is my dog <laughs> yeah that's her in the background <laughs> beautiful <laughs> well i have four dogs at home right now so <laughs> well, thank you for that thank you thank you any other questions Aviva, you guys have to send one of the toys to everybody on the call now. <laughs> we definitely will. <laughs> Choose your design and colors. <laughs> All right, great. Thank you very much. And we have made the time constraint. So uh, I, I feel good about that. It's one huge accomplishment. Thank you guys again for doing this great presentation. Thank you Thank so you much. So and much. we're really sorry that we have to leave early. But understand we're just that. Thank you. Thank you. Shalom. Shabbat shalom. shalom and happy Hanukkah. <laughs> Thanks, you too. Shabbat shalom. You.